That's really weird. How do we get it? Hi, everyone on TikTok. We are trying to get the chat. Hello, Instagram. I can't read that. <laughs> oh, you found the chat. I did. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Instagram. Got Carolyn. Got Ro. You can Hi, see Lorraine. that? I can see it. Wow. Y'all better behave. I can see what's going on now. <laughs> Hi, Holly Rogers. We got hippies and gypsies over here on TikTok. Oh, that's, and they Sophia. sound like fun people. Mm-hmm. Well, Y'all are just going to have to forgive it's me. It's Glow because... Glow's first time on Instagram. Welcome. You're in for a treat, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Petty Queen. It's on how you look Mike at it. Mike Karen. Oh, we got, I, you know, <laughs> there's just so many lady. people that talk. Hi, Pam King. I'm so happy you're doing so awesome. You're losing weight. You're looking great. You look good before, but it's always encouraging to see. Love is automatic. Glad you got to join us today. Hi, Maria. Hi, Deborah. Oh, you haven't seen it live in a while. It said it's been a hot minute. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Judy. Helpful and happy. That's Two like very you. good things That's to That's like be. you. You're helpful and happy. Hi, Maxine. I am sometimes one of the two. Generally not both at the same time. That's not true. She's always <laughs> helpful. The happy part is the... Maxine says she's ready for good vibes. Yeah. Today's you... all about the vibe. That's right. I'm not sure what the vibe is yet. Well, that's... Let me tell you, it didn't start out very good. Oh, really? It didn't. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Y'all, you have no idea what we have to live with here. Misty was huffing and rolling her eyes. I thought she lost one in the back of her head. Yeah, my mom used to tell me your eyes are going to stick that way. Um, they almost did. It was drama with Aesthetica. Yeah, there uh, was. And, and it, it was... I had a right to be upset. Yes, you did. I have I have it written. We just proof. didn't have to relive it every 10 minutes <laughs> for the entire day. But it's like every time I would let it die down, <laughs> you know how it gets when you're in you were you're kind of having an argument with somebody and then you let you think you're over it and then you realize something else that you didn't say. Then it's like, oh, but what? And it's still going on. It happened just right before we came on air. The bottom line is we were promised to have this collection today. And yeah. oh hi Alexi, we miss you. We do. I told Kim yesterday I miss Alexi. Sorry. Um, and they didn't do what they said they were gonna do. Yeah, it's okay. And it's okay. They didn't Just... communicate that they didn't do what they said they were gonna do. And then when they said they did what they did, we weren't <laughs> supposed to get the collection till tonight. And I mean, I thought Mr. was gonna have an aneurysm, so we prepared for a different thing to do. We did. We had a whole other thing ready to go. I had everything in the computer ready to go. Carrie had all her stuff ready to go. At about and eleven, and behold, 15, at about eleven fifteen, I'm like, "Oh, there's UPS!" And you hear Misty in the studio go, oh, "UPS? <laughs> Seriously? Stop the press! Stop everything! We're redoing everything. We're going to show this, even though I wanted to be petty and say, "Well, we're not even going to show it. We we don't even want to give them the time of day." On the other hand, I wanted to say, yeah, I want to do it because I'm excited about this right. collection. And I've been excited about this collection. Yeah. And if you don't know what we're talking about on Instagram and on TikTok, we're talking about the new Aesthetica collection. And the I mess up stuff all the collection. time. But when I mess stuff up, I mean, I tell you, I mess this up. Well, well yeah. Usually because you have to fix it, but I would tell you anyway. Oh, me too. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mimi. Oh, yeah. She says our hair and makeup. <laughs> Mimi gets to see the real us with mm -hmm. no makeup. Does anybody notice anything different about? I'm just bragging. I put on concealer today. I don't ever wear concealer. I it don't looks see. Good. I don't see a difference. I do. I just, you know, I feel like I did something. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I really did something. I put on concealer. I'm so. What wig did you put on? I have on Brooklyn by John Renault. This is their professional collection. Um, so you, you technically can't buy it online, but it is on our website, so you can see the colors that it comes in. Now, it does not look like this straight from the box. You know, I like my big hair, so I need that I wig. I don't. I, I never understand why I don't have it. Deborah Johns, right. yes. Dare I say drama queen? Absolutely. Right. 
You could do it in all caps if you wanted. We like drama around my name. <laughs> we like the good drama. Yeah. We don't like drama amongst ourselves. We like drama with, you know, the reps and, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not really. What are you wearing, Kimberly? I've got Own the Room in Shaded Biscuit by Gabor. It's the new collection. Well, I guess it's not new anymore. It came, it came out December 1st, but we couldn't put online until January 1st. And it's all heat defiant. So, And they also, Gabor in the past had really never done rooted colors. They, I mean, it was like a soft shade is what they called it. But with this new collection, they're doing some of the Raquel Welch colors, and they are beautiful. Wise over on um, TikTok says that Clinique has a foundation concealer that's to die for. Does that mean a foundation concealer is a foundation and a concealer? I went to the Clinique counter the other day, and I just, I just hadn't worn it in so many years. I got confused and just. I got a free, you know, from Ulta. If you have, you know, if you spend enough money, you get free stuff. I'm not going to say how much money I spent, but I got a free full-size foundation from Clinique one time. <laughs> then you spent a lot of money. And I loved it. I used the whole thing. Holly uh, Holly is asking on YouTube if Shaded Biscuit is the coolest color. Actually, it's the Ice Latte Macchiato that's cooler, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, well, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, Annie, we are not wearing false eyelashes. We use the Lilash growth serum we sell it on our website misty always had good lashes now they're just fabulous i, I never had any lashes they were literally stubs i actually posted a picture back when we had our 12 days of christmas sale of my lashes before and after um it's i won't ever stop using this ever ever i won't either I mean, it just, it's just... It's, it's a little pricey, but it works, but it's cheaper than some of the other things that we've tried that didn't work as well. Yeah, great. when you, you know, figure it out and you divide it by the month, you know, uh, one of the tubes lasts for six months. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just a little over $20 a month. I mean, and if you're buying false lashes and the glue and you're getting good lashes, I mean, you're going to spend that. And I just, I, I won't ever stop using it. And I love the Lilash. It's my favorite. I've used them all. Well, and sometimes I like a more dramatic look. Like Saturday night I went out, so I put false eyelashes on and just get a little pop. Yeah, I have really sensitive eyes. I, and I can't ever get them on right. I just can't. But anyway. All right. Um, someone over on TikTok is asking, does the blonde wig come in a brown? Yes, every wig that we show, no matter the brand, is going to come in a full range of colors. With the exception of a few may not come in grays. But everything that we always put on is going to come from blonde to really dark. The only, the other area that's a little bit questionable is the reds. People that wear red are generally pretty specific about what red they want. And so depending on the company, the redheads may or not, may or may not like the actual red it comes in, but they all come in red. Yeah. It's always, always say it's like, it's like a makeup line. You know, you have you know, a certain brand that carries eyeshadow shades that you like better than others. So same thing with, you know, the different wig lines. I am a cool, I love cool browns and certain brands only have the cool browns that I like. So you just gotta kind of pick and choose, you know, what brands you like the best. Roy Lampley is watching from work. She's she's showing all her patients. Are, Sorry. So we're on display at the doctor's oh office. Oh my goodness. Or the hospital. Well, I hope this isn't the cardiac oh. war. We might give him a heart attack. Maxine. See, Maxine's just poking the bear. Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, well, yes and no, probably Maxine. She's asking if these new aesthetics that we're about to show are going to automatically be on back order. Probably. I mean, what well, can we just got to be real? Probably so. They did have some quality control issues with one of the styles, I know. They sent a whole so batch just, back. Know, sent a whole bunch back. I, I don't know. We have not looked at these. I did take them out of the box just because it's tight in here and it's noisy and we try to try to be quiet and not be too close to the microphone. I don't know. What are you talking about? She's asking if they're going to go on back order, and I'm like, we did, we haven't looked at but them. But what's so that got to do with the microphone? If the quality is, I took them out of the box. I said, we haven't looked at them, <laughs> but I did take them out of the box, because I don't want them to say, well, you said you didn't look at them, but they're already out of the box, so obviously you looked at them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know. I, I start here with a, a sentence, and instead of ending here, I'm like, oh. oh. I do the same thing. Sometimes it's like 10 minutes later. I'm like, what was, what was I, you know, that? Technically, what? probably should be medicated, but, you know, what can I say? Isn't that what wine's for? All right. What are All right, should we? I, one of these days, we're going to come in here, and we're just going to go live without any subject. And we're just going to, like, answer questions. We've done that before, and it's really fun. Oh, yay. Okay. Somebody found us. Huh? Yeah. Bunglebees. What? On TikTok. What? So they finally found us. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know why she's talking about. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Says we look nice. It's because we brightened her lights. Because <laughs> you put concealer no, on. No, let me tell you what. If you're watching on YouTube... Or wherever you're watching. Some really nice man. I don't know what his name is. I forgot. But he's a professional photographer. And he made a long comment on one of our videos. Super super nice and really constructive criticism. And talked about our lighting. And he helped us out. Which we still have a long way to go. But he made some, some suggestions. And it really helped. Yeah. You know, I think it really helped. So, anyway, thank you. Ooh, Lauren says you're wound up like a cheap watch. <laughs> well, how did I get to be expensive? I, don't know. I need to be an expensive watch. Anyway, we need to go on. Let's move on with this. Oh, and uh, Annie's saying good luck to all in the doctor's office. These are, she did comment back, we are being shown to pregnant ladies. I guess they're waiting to go into labor. <laughs> so. Oh, those poor children. If we don't send you into labor, nothing. Right. Well, all right, let's, let's, just, let's just go. Okay, let's do it. Oh, before I go on, I promised Carrie I was going to do this very first because I always forget to do it at the end. So, um... If you don't follow us everywhere, I'm just going to throw this up on the screen if you're watching on um, YouTube or Facebook. If you're watching on Instagram or TikTok, I'm just going to tell you. Um, we do have a YouTube channel, and you can find us on Mimi's Wig Chicks, or sorry, Mimi's Wig Boutique, and we have live videos. We have over 300 videos, so go catch us over there and subscribe to our channel. And we also have a Facebook page, which is under Mimi's Wig Boutique, and we have a private Facebook group, which is um, Mimi's Wig Chicks VIP. Totally private, over 7,000 women. Catch us there. You can see all sorts of pictures, normal people. It's great. Totally private. Okay, so now we can move on. Okay, what's first? Emmett. Emmett. This is the shortest wig of the collection. These are all short, so if you're wanting long, I don't know if you've seen any preview pictures or not, there's not any long ones. Um, and all of these are spelled weird, except for Kennedy. And Haven. Oh, well, I, Emmett, I guess two. Emmett's of... spelt normal. Haven's normal can't merit. Merit's I probably weird. would have put two R's in merit. I would have put one T on Emmett. I I, I probably I don't know. But they didn't that. they didn't ask it. <laughs> okay, if you're watching this for the first time, I know a lot of you are probably new on TikTok and Instagram. This is the wig grip. We talk about it often, but this is what we wear. Only these with our personal wigs. It's wonderful. We're putting these on just for hygienic purposes. Now that we knocked that out of the way. Emmett is their pure stretch cap, which means it does not have any special features like a lace front or a monofilament top. I'm gonna your brush. This cap doesn't feel as stretchy as most aesthetic is. Oh, mercy. I got a little cowlick going on. Okay. Okay. If you didn't want jet, asymmetric, and you want a little bit more, this is like a shorter and, version of Brady. Maybe? Right. It's a shorter version of Brady, and it Brady uh, is a little bit messy. And it's got some longer pieces here. This is a great short style, and it does not have a whole lot of hair. No, and you could do a bang with this. Yeah. I mean, this one's got a, a little bit of a cold set issue. It wants to go to the side. If I mean, I think that's probably the way they intended it, because that's the way the stock picture looks. Um, the bang is four inches, so um, it's actually kind of cute. I'm Melissa J. Turner. I mean, just to, Melissa, I am holding two wigs at my desk, and I think it's been, 
I think they've been there since like November. So next time you come in, be sure to ask about those. I mean, from the side, that's a little <laughs> flock of seagulls kind of. Yeah, but I think you can fix it with a blow This brush. is totally fixable. If and we, Like I said, we didn't look at these. So, you know, we didn't fix them. We didn't do anything to make them look better or worse. Um, so if you get, ever get a wig in the mail and it's like this, this is what we call a cold set issue. So if you have a hot air brush or something, it's easily fixable. If you don't have a hot air brush, it's still easily fixable. Gravity will kind of do its thing. Just kind of work with it and make it go under, put a little hairspray on it and work with it. They're trainable. So that's easily. This color that I have on is R1226H. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and it is a great, cool, kind of light to medium brown with a highlight in it. It's pretty well blended, but it's a great, natural-looking, cool brown. Yeah. I, I'm not hating on this. I From the picture, they sent the flyer with a girl, and she's got sunglasses on top of her head, and this is hooked to my hair on the side. We are a piece of work. I missed it. Okay. What did you do? I don't know. And so you can't really tell a lot if somebody's got sunglasses on top of their head. So. And Love is Automatic said so it could be a modern uh, unisex style, depending on how it's played. Absolutely. This one feels stretchier than that one. Uh, the 1226 is not red. It is, it's got some gold to it, but it does not have red. I just think this is cute for people who want that, like, toward the face pixie. No, R does not stand for rooted. The R at the front, Yeah, it, I'm norm. not sure what that stands for, but it does not start, stand for rooted. What, what they'll do, and they make the R1226H with the RT4, so they make it with a root, but the R at the beginning on does not mean rooted. Yeah, most companies that go by numbers have an R at the front. Um, someone's asking on TikTok how they order that that wig that she has on, that the gray we're showing, the color is called R51LF60. The style is called Emmett, and it's spelled E-M-M-E-T-T. Um, and you can go tobacco. to our website, and it's shopmimisdallas.com, um, and you can go order it on there, um, and it'll tell you how much. The price point on this is really good. Um, but I, and I'm sorry. I know that Instagram, Instagram shows a little bit more, but on TikTok, you don't really see a lot. But if you go to our bio, it has a link to our website, and you can find everything on there. Yeah, this is this is more. This is really cute. Look, if... I had a lady the other day, and oh. she wanted that look where it kind of all came to her face, and we didn't really have anything that worked. It was, that's cute. It and, is cute. And it's nice and short over the ears. A lot of them have that long piece here. Even like winter has that longer piece here, and I find myself a lot of times cutting that off for people. Yeah. This is cute. It not, is cute. Not hating on it at all. Not hating. Especially when people want it super short here. Okay. Okay, moving right along. Merit. Merit. So Merit is a lace front with a full mono top. This one came, like this one, it came, one of them came with that pantyhose around it. I hate when they do that. Well, it's because they're trying to keep it straight. Yeah, but it puts, I feel like it puts a crease in it. Sunday says she's going to come see us soon. All right, this cap is super comfy. Yeah, it's monotop lace front. You said that sleek, smooth bob with blunt layers. Yeah. This is cute. It's probably too flat for you. You have to put stuff in it. But for someone that doesn't want a lot of volume here, it's great. Yeah, it is cute. Again, I think this is cuter in person than the, the picture they put out. Agreed. You know, I mean, I I'm I don't here. know that I wouldn't wear this. No, I think you yeah. would. You just have to put, you'd have to get it gunked up. <laughs> I would. Does it look shorter on me than it does you? Yeah, it does. I think it does. 
All right, Cheryl's asking, do we ever tell the wig density? We do talk about it, like I would consider this to be a low density, and then there's some that are more full. Yeah, weight total on this is 3.5 ounces. Kim wants to see the lace on the chrome root. She's on. The lace looks great, Kim. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is definitely Kim Meyer's wig. Yeah, she's been emailing me about it. They did put a few of the gray hairs along the um, 1B part um, to try to disguise those dark knots a little better than they used to. And yeah, it looks good. It doesn't look bad at all. I like the, the way it just kind of hangs. Density is low. Gloria wants to know if we can explain permatease. So permatease is something that you get with a machine-made wig. And what it is, is it's at the root, and it looks like you've teased it at the root. And that gives you more height than volume. Uh, so for people that like that volume, don't pay for the monotop if you like volume because you'll fight with it. Get the machine-made wig that has the permatease. Right, agreed. Um, I'm anxious to change these out to see, because this just looks so much shorter on me. I don't know if, we'll see. They're supposed to be the same. And it, this, this will also go to show you that you can have the same wig as someone next to you and it look totally different because you have a different face shape, neck length, you know, everything's different. I kind of feel like this one is shorter. Irene on Facebook is asking how she orders. Go to our website, shopmimistylist.com. They're already loaded. They've been loaded since last Friday and available for order. This is the one shorter than that one. It is. Wow. We do both have it on the same wig, right? Yeah, and the way, yeah, we do have the same wig on, and the way, the only um, way I describe it is. <laughs> I'm like. Hey, these are made by humans, and the manufacturers allow a 10% variance, and 10% in a wig is a lot. So if one's slightly longer, slightly shorter, then um, that they are not going to call that defective. Right, and you have to, you can't get too hung up on the fact that you you can't have a you can't ever expect to look exactly the same every day for the rest of your life so if you have a style and you have a look you have to remember okay well if you have bio hair you can't get your hair to look the same no. every single day so it's okay don't don't try to make it match i mean that's when you start getting into the people start wondering how is she so perfect every single day let it be natural let it be organic let it be you know open and free you know? And he says they look like different density. There's a lot of times mm -hmm. that color will make a difference in how they look density-wise and sometimes just uh, it being a darker color will look more full. Yeah, and they, they just, yeah, I just don't understand this. I'm going to hold, let's hold them up side by side. Oh my goodness, I did it again. What in the world? It's like I just started. You got hooky hair. I just started. Well, and you're just catching that little thing. Let's see that. I mean, I don't know. What do y'all think? I mean, technically, it doesn't look longer. Crystal on TikTok likes low density. And that, you know, that's a great point. Nowadays, they make something for everybody. Who knows if it's you longer. You know, we've got, longer. if someone wants low density, if they want medium, if they want big Texas hair, there's a wig for them. Yeah, and like I, you saw with the one I had on to begin with, the um, Brooklyn, it comes extremely low density and kind of sleek and flat. Um, but just with some product, I, I make mine a lot fuller because I love everything else about the wig. I just like a little bit. I have a really round face, and so I want more fullness. Okay, moving on to Kennedy. Okay. What? Well, let's just try. I already have a. I already have a comment. This is the one that came in the pantyhose. Okay, monotop with lace front, jaw grazing, blunt bob with subtle texture. Okay, so I, I was said thinking. Texture. 
That's okay. a new word for you, texture. Um, my comment was, this is very similar to the last one, but it, it is different. It's got some layering here. Is it a center part? No. Well, it's got the full mono top. It's got the lace and the full mono top, so you put the part pretty much anywhere you want. But... Oh, yeah. Uh, A.W., you're right. Monofilament top is going to help that it lay flatter. It's going to look like your scalp at the part. It's also going to reduce volume here. But those features are hand done, and so when you start looking at those features, you have to decide if that's really important to you because they cost more. They're, they, they, the cost is based on how much it costs the manufacturer to make the wig. I am thinking if I got some wig wax and I put that in there, this bottom part, yeah, I would like this. I like the layers back here. And I like that it has just enough movement that it, it, it moves. It's, Gail, this is, Gail's asking about the cap size on YouTube, and it's an average cap. Yeah, I mean, I have average to large head, and all these have fit me just fine. I do feel like this has got a weird... Okay, if you, um, on TikTok, Winter's Breeze is asking if you get headaches, what's the best thing to, way to get... You need to just get something that is comfortable for you. And for some people, even though they don't have a large head, they'll get a large cap because it's just more comfortable for them. But that comes down to being able to try them on and see. Top, she's asking about toppers as well. Toppers work for a whole lot of people. We do not carry them, but they're also hard on your hair. So you're clipping into your hair. And if your hair's already compromised in thinning, it just pulls hair out when it does when you clip in this is cute it is cute oh it just needs to be a little messier i would probably lift that up and kind of get more of like that curtainy bang look well see you have yours parted more in the middle and yeah this just right here would make fell. me crazy but i would probably have one of you guys steam it just kind of off my face like, a little bit I like, like that. that texture i like that yours has more texture than mine well let's switch out Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look, amazingly, I didn't get it caught. I love this color. Yes. Someone was asking if 610 had changed. No, it, the color has not changed. It may look a little different under our lighting, but the color has stayed the same. And see, on me, this looks like it's still center part. I didn't change anything. Joanna, thank you for watching. I'm glad you'll join us. We have lots of fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one? No. <laughs> nothing. Gail's asking if there's anything in petite, and no, nothing came out new in petite. Yeah, but if, if depending on how petite you are, I mean, don't limit yourself. If you can get to a wig salon, you should, there should be someone there that's able to, to make that fit your head. I mean... We do a lot of alterations. I have a couple of clients I've been doing for a number of years that really have a child size head. And in fact, I've got one out there right now that I've got to cut apart. I literally cut that apart, sew it all back together to fit their head. And if we were gonna have to limit them to the size head that they measure for, they would have like maybe three styles. Yeah. You know, so I always say, if you can get to a wig salon that's got somebody that's trained there, do that. We've had a couple people ask on TikTok about um, will these men, will these wigs work for men? Some, well, some depends on the style. So, like the first one, probably we've got a couple of men that come in the store that uh, buy like Pixies, like they'll buy Winter Elite. But for the most part, uh, men tend to have a little bit larger head than women. Not, not across the board, just. And so sometimes they need a large cap. But yeah, I mean, there are plenty of men that find a way to make them work. Okay, with the way this one's hanging, I would definitely move that part a little bit and yeah. let it be a little bit more sleek. But that one, I like it. Yes. Okay, last one. I saved the one I was most excited about for last. Of course you did. Because it's all about me. Wow. Oh, 
Annie on YouTube is asking, does Silver Sun Root lean toward a fashion color more than the grays? I prefer bright colors. Ooh, I should there. Um, bright Sorry. colors. Um, yes, a Silver Sun Root is actually a brighter color than the Shaded Biscuit. It is, it definitely is leaning. It's the closest thing you can get to gray without being gray in Aesthetica. Okay, Crystal's asking if these are gonna be easy to cut bangs into. I'm gonna let Misty take that because I have a feeling she'll say no, but. Well, it really depends on which style. I mean. The ones that don't have any face framing. That last one, if it doesn't have, if a, if a wig doesn't have any face framing at all, if you've got a wig that's just, just like straight, it, I'm not saying it can't be done, um, but it's not always that easy. I mean, to make it look like it, you don't just have a chopped, you know, China doll haircut. Lisa is asking how she orders the blonde wig. Again, we have a, an online store. If you go to shopmimisdallas.com, you can see everything we carry. It'll give you prices, colors, and you can order it. But going back to the bangs, um, I'm not saying it can't be done, but you just have to, some styles I'm going to kind of lean towards saying no. Some I'll say yes because I've done it before. So um, it just really depends. If you have a specific question on a specific wig, then you can always email me and ask me. Uh, my email is mwigboutique at gmail.com. So someone's saying that on <laughs> TikTok, no way you're going to lose those glasses with a wallet chain. chain. It's actually a chain that is made for glasses. But before I did that, I left glasses everywhere. And they would have to pick up my glasses because I never knew where they were. And so I, it kind of made me feel like matronly to put a chain on my glasses. But I just got to the point where I was like, I have to because I have to have them. And I never know where they are. Okay, this style is Haven. It is a mono top, full mono top with a lace front. Subtle angled bob with soft waves. Y'all always know I like those curly ones. But we'll see if I like this one. First, first off, no. <laughs> Definitely would change the part. Okay, yeah, this is gonna need a little work. I do like wants to go. kind of the wave pattern because it's not real curly. Oh, Deborah, this has got the full monotop, so you can put the part wherever you want. This one is not hanging well. Let me change the part. That's better. How's the mm -hmm. lace look? They put a few blonde... Blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, don't pull on the lace. Um, they put a few blonde hairs staggered in there. So the lace looks pretty good. I feel like on this one they did more. I have a really short forehead, so I don't know that this style would be the best for someone with a short forehead. Um, I'm going to try on the other side. Okay, we're getting a couple of questions on TikTok about how do you keep the wig on your head. We recommend a product called a wig grip. It's something that we wear. We do not recommend these caps. They're hot. I tell people all the time, you don't put pantyhose on your body. You don't want to put it on your head. Uh, these also, if you wear them, will slide. So this is the wig grip. Uh, it's just a band of fabric that goes around your head. You put the white label on the right side of your head, and then you Velcro in the back. And this literally one side grips to your hair, the other side grips to the wig. It alleviates that feeling that you need to pull your wig down all the time and it secures your wig. So you can hug people, you can try clothes on, your wig's not gonna move. Okay, so just a few seconds working with this. It's already it's already looking better. Yeah. I mean it's gonna take more than a few seconds, but you can see, I mean, it's it's already looking better. Yeah. And again, you know, you have to make these your own. If you expect to just pull a wig out of a box and put it on, it's probably not going to look very yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, you've so got to customize it for what your style is. Sometimes it works, but sometimes, I mean, not sometimes. You have to make it yours. 
So even if it's the shortest pixie, I mean, put it on. Don't we have people all the time come in here and say, I'm afraid to brush my wig. I'm like, you have to brush it. It's just like your hair. Unless it's got curl Unless like that, you're going to pick it. Unless it's got curl. I mean, but yeah, just put it on. You see me. I'm, what I'm doing here is just kind of using my fingertips to kind of redo that lace knotting to kind of get it to go away from my face so it's not so flat. So you just, just play with it. Crystal is asking... Um, if, if this how this length compares to January by John Renault, it's a little bit longer. Well, okay, January is pretty much all one length all the way around. This one is angled, so it's a little shorter in the back than it is in the front. Okay, t someone on TikTok is asking if they can see the part area. I'm just going to show you this, but you have to keep in mind that's the liner that you're seeing. So I'm going to pull this up and put my hand. See that? So that's not, that's going to take on your scalp or your wig grip or whatever you got on. So you're not gonna see that line. It has a really natural part area. They've done great with these parts. Um, the monos on these are great. Yeah, and I think with just a little working, this would this would be a really cute style. Did I even show the back? Someone on Instagram is asking what the style is. This is called Haven. Yes, and I'm so sorry that we can't put those. If you if you do watch us on YouTube, you can see we have little slides that show you underneath what we have on the color and everything. It's not saying you can't watch us where you're at, but later on, if you want to go over there, you can see the descriptions too. Uh, hey, Annie says Haven looks like a modernized uh, editor's pick. It's shorter than editor's pick. It's uh, like I said, it's angled. An edit editor's pick has a side bang cut into it and this doesn't so you know it's along the same lines oh, but we didn't switch colors um maria is asking on youtube if this rh 1488 rt4 color the blonde is a um cool color it not technically it is but it's um it's a gold tone it's their gold water and someone on instagram is asking how do you order a band we sell them on our website, shopmimisdallas.com. And what you want to do is you want to match the interior of your wig. So if you have a wig that's blonde with a dark root like this, it's going to have a browned interior. So you want a brown wig grip. If you have a blonde without a root or a gray, you're going to want tan. Oh, I love this 826 color. Okay, Sarah, you're right. It is more like unfiltered. A little bit different curl pattern, but very close. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's really not like anything. Because it's... <laughs> this, is how, this is how we justify getting new wigs. We'll go, well, I have this, but it's not quite just like that. So what did I get last week? Trend Alert and Stella. Pretty similar, um, but they're different. Mimi on Instagram is asking which is best for summer. I'm assuming you're asking which wig. Um, it really just depends. I mean, we're in Texas, so can you just hit that um, on the left? On the left, on the left. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's hot everywhere, so wigs are a little warm, but it's warm if you don't have a wig on. So it really just depends on your tolerance and the style you like. I would say just get what you like because. It comes down this is really not a whole whole lot of difference human hair always is going to be more warm i like this color better yeah I'm, i would have to have some of this lifted off my face yeah i mean i thought this was going to be my favorite but it's i, th I think that shorter one's my favorite all right what are we Oh, goodness. This, uh, the wigs we have on right now are called Haven. And all of these are by Aesthetica. They're all on our website, shopmimisdallas.com. And it'll list out the colors and all that good stuff. Yeah. Well, all in all, I'm happy with this collection. Yeah, I'm happy too. I don't have any complaints. I know, I'm sure if Thomas is watching, he's probably happy to hear that. <laughs> Thomas is our rep, and he probably doesn't watch, but <laughs> probably scared. <laughs> I, I told him a couple months ago he was the best rep we've ever had from them. 
And and even through this debacle, he still is. He is. Oh, good. Jody, you're right. This is a little bit better version of Sage. It is. I don't think it takes the place of Mellow, though. I still love Mellow. Because Mellow's got those light, those layers, shorter layers in yeah. here. All right. All well, right. I think my work in here is done. Oh, there's, but wait, there's more. <laughs> there, there's more. It just doesn't include me. I'm done with y'all. Okay. Do we now have a sister wig for Forever Chic? Gosh, I don't know. I'll have to think on that. Send us, a, send us an email, whoever has that. Bye, y'all. I'll be back. And Marsha and I are Twinkies today. Marsha, as everybody knows, is the sweetest one here. that works here. Yeah, I am the sweetest one. And if you are unsure about that, just ask me. She'll tell you. <laughs> but she really is. <laughs> yeah. So what do you have to say today? Mm, we have a sale going on. Oh. Let's so see. it's all of the Aesthetica. Everything that you saw today and all of the Aesthetica and it. They are 25% off, and the code is 525, and that is through Sunday? Sunday night. And if you're on TikTok or Instagram, the uh, it is a Vibe, V-I-B-E 25, just like the collection's called Vibe. Hi, Cindy. Yep. So, good shopping. All right. Y'all, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us and all of our banter and... Yeah, we talked too much at the beginning. Oh, but, no. You know. Okay. That's how it goes. Y'all have a good one. Bye.